Hey guys, well, um, I received a card, um, some happy mail from Jill, love my two pugs one, and she made me this beautiful card. I love her cards because they're very simple, not too much, you know, like, embellishments going on, but she does so much, um, with the embossing and then the cutting and all that stuff, so I love getting her cards. So thank you so much, Jill. She sent it, um, it came on... Monday, right after Easter, but yeah, it's cute, it has this little bunny that she cut out in there, and then this cute little fluffy tail, I don't know how she did that, I don't know if it's a pom-pom, I don't think so, or, um, some, like, flocking powder or something like that, but yeah, and it looks like a little bushy tail, super, super cute, so thank you so much, Jill, for that, it was a sweet surprise, and then I had made a squash book, I made a squash book for my aunt, um, she, aunt, my aunt Debbie, which I had done a challenge for her back in October, so, the papers that I used, it was a kit that I purchased from Michaels um, about a month ago. It was on clearance for $3, and it was a breast cancer awareness kit, and I'm sure you guys have seen it before. But yeah, this is what I did, this little mini squash book, and I think it came out adorable. So, um, I loved it. The embellishments, for example, like the pink party part, as well as the pink hope um, 3D um, stickers, were from the kit as well as the blings as well and the papers or at least the decorative paper. Um, the ribbon I had in my stash and then the heart in the background actually cut from my Cricut cartridge so um, I've been trying to put more use into that. So that is the front and the reason why I put Pink Party is um, she had her anniversary party in October and all the girls or at least her sisters which is my mom and her twin sister had worn pink so, um, which we call it. So they had to wear pink for the, um, you know, the breast the cancer pink, theme. That's pink. That's <clears throat> mm -hmm. pink. Yeah. Okay. That's go over there. Pink. Off the table, baby. So yeah. So that's why um, I put it as the pink, pink party in the front. Pink. And then this is the back, and it has the pink ribbon. It has some um, bling, and then it has this was a circle that I cut out from my Cricut cartridge as well. So I figured she could write something on there, or she could add a picture. And it says in the bottom, go pink for the cause. Okay, baby, go down over there. So that is that. So then I have it tied up with the ribbon, and then you open it up. Okay, baby, excuse me. I have to. I need the table. It's okay. Go over there. So that is the front, and then you open it like that. I've made a couple of these before, and these are like one of my favorite little books. Baby, go over there. So this is the inside. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Okay. No, no, no. <clears throat> Go over there, please. Okay. So then this is the inside. This is the front. This, um, it had, this, these stickers were also from the package. So this one says courage, and I put some bling on there. I kept it simple. I didn't want to go overboard because then there's no way you can close it even after pictures, putting the pictures in. That says daughter. And then this side, it says sister. And then this one says aunt. So I thought it was cute. You know, she could put pictures in there of the party. Um, and then on this side, and all, like I said, all these decorative papers were from the kit. Um, the paper that I used in the back, the, the, the base one, that one um, I purchased at Michael's is Basil cardstock. So it was a 12 by 12 piece. So yeah, and then this part right here, this was part of the collection. It was just a simple chipboard sticker, but I had put in some glossy accents to make it a little more shinier and more durable. So yeah, so that is the book. Excuse me, baby. So that is the book. And I hope you guys like it, and I hope she likes it too. I love these books simply because you can put these right in your purse, you know, and carry it around with you. So these are great little gifts. So, yep, so thanks, for everyone, for watching, and take care. I'm sorry I haven't been doing many videos. I'm sorry I haven't been commenting very much. Um, I've been so busy, and then with other personal issues and work, and then now getting his little, my son's birthday party set up, which is this Saturday. So it's been really hectic around here. So I haven't even had time to do any crafts or do any um, challenges, and I feel terrible for that because I kind of lost my mojo. So I'm trying to, uh, hopefully with this party and, um, you know, it'll get me back, you know, on point with that. And then I can do some more projects because I do have a ton of projects that I wanted to do, especially with all the embellishments that I had received from my previous challenge. 
which thank you so much ladies for entering and I still do have another challenge going on I only received one entry which is for my son so you know uh, what you gonna call it <clears throat> if I don't receive any more or especially for the tea party one then I'm just gonna leave it at that so you know it all depends on what I receive for if if I let's just say if I get stuff for the tea party theme then I will do my party tea party theme but if not then I might just you know ixna all together and then um what you call it just not do a tea party theme for my birthday I'll just you know keep it where I'll go somewhere you know do something simple so like I said I haven't been um up you know feeling great lately so so yeah so that's that so thank you again Crafty Paws for the beautiful. Um, banner, so I'm looking forward to putting that up. That should be really cute. And thanks everyone for watching, so take care.